Yeah. The one time I was rambling on. You're, you're you live. weren't even there. We're live. We're live. We're yeah. good. Stone Coat Countertops. What's up? I'm Mitch with Stone Coat Epoxy. And I'm Kenny from RK3 Designs. And we have a special live for you in store today. We're doing some research and development, but we're going to start off with a huge, enormous announcement. We've been searching the country far and wide. Every video we put up says, Mitch, when can I have products back available in Canada? Our distribute our distribution fell apart up there. We have huge news. Give it away. Stone Coat is currently available right now across our northern borders to our northern, our great northern brother and sister <laughs> from Canada. New classic resin. Out. Chris, drop that in the link in the description. Guys, available right now. They ship across the country. They're an awesome father and son family run business. They sell more than just stone coat. They have all sorts of mold making materials. Yep. Everything epoxy resin across the border. Check them out. Chris, you got a video for them? I do. Roll it. Play it. Okay. Hello, friends. My name is Ronnie from New Classic Resin, a leading Canadian based resin company. We are so excited to announce that we will be an official distributor of Stone Coat products in Canada. Our Toronto shop is open seven days a week, or you can shop on our website, www.newclassicresin.com, where we offer free express shipping across Canada. Thank you. We're back. Go. We're back. What's up? That's the awesome uh, duo up north, guys. They are salt of the earth. They're ready to ship your epoxy across their beautiful nation. So check them out, support their business. If you're up north in Canada, the floodgates are open. All right, so today we've got some cool stuff going on. We've got these cool backsplash molds. Two different, they are, they're a little bit taller than your standard height from your countertop to your uppers. So you can trim them to size, but we're gonna make some cool stuff today with a unique product. This is some research and development behind the scenes. Yep. I have not mixed this up. I've only thought about it, dreamed about it, and seen videos about it. Now we're going to make it happen. Now we're going to make it happen. Cross your fingers. I hope <laughs> it works. We're mixing up some art coat epoxy. We figured about 30 ounces or so. We did some math. Yeah. We did the kind volume of. calculator. We're guessing. We can always add yeah. more. We are an epoxy company. We right. have unlimited supply nearly. Yeah, that's why we're doing it for you. Yeah. That way you don't have to figure you it out. You don't have to right? guess this, but we have a brown version and a white and, and black gray and version. gray version. And then after we do these little molds for the backsplash, we're going to do a doggy shower wall out of the quartz. And we're going to let you guys, after we uh, pour these, pick what color we use on our doggy wall. Right. So let's go. Let's mix up. All right, let's do this. And also, guys, let us know any questions that you have. Chris has a little mini Jumbotron. I, that doesn't make sense. Jumbotron. Mini Jumbotron. Yeah. I don't think that exists, but it does here in Southern Oregon. It's right over here on this TV stand. Show them, Chris. Show them, Nate. That's the mini Jumbotron. So when your questions roll through... We can answer them. We can answer them at the drop of a hat. It's going to be a great time. Kenny is here from RK3 Designs, and RK3 Designs is an amazing company. They distribute Stone Coat Epoxy. And they also offer hands-on training course. Uh, we try to provide everything you need to know about epoxy with our videos, but we have 700 videos. You can get lost in that. Uh, if you need that extra little help, that hands-on training experience that some people need, no matter how many videos they watch, they need to go and do it by, with somebody telling them exactly what to do. Rhonda and Kenny do a great job uh, showing how to build countertops from start to finish. Rhonda will demonstrate the countertop finish. Go ahead. They could probably hear me. Huh? Uh, let us know if we, yeah, just mix like that. Perfect. So Rhonda shows a countertop finish on a board and then you take epoxy to your own board and try to replicate what you just learned. It's really the best way to learn this uh, hands-on. You're not just watching Rhonda make pieces and then putting in the memory bank and trying to do that days later when you finally fly home. You're making what five or seven Five or so pieces seven. for them, seven pieces for themselves and big group boards. So it's a lot of fun. You learn how to do shower walls, which is what we're doing here. Basically, and yeah. Yeah, while Kenny's talk, uh, mixing, I'll kind of show the shower wall prep. I'm gonna cover up. Okay, let me know in the comments. We call, we call our flag old glory. What does the Canadians call their flag? 
have no idea. I have no idea. That's a Google question. If there's any lovely Canadians in the audience, let us know in the comments. But here is our pink foam from a hardware store. You could get this at Home Depot Lowe's. Pretty much, uh, I don't know about a local guy, but maybe. Um, we reinforce it with some fiber mesh. And then in this instance, we didn't put black undercoat paint on after that quick coat dried. We got wiser as we learned this and we started wiser. tinting the quick coat with white or black dye or brown dye. If you want yeah, to make whatever a you want to color, you could tint that undercoat and it completely hides the foam. It eliminates a whole nother step. I mean, quick uh, tint the quick coat, excuse me. And that really reinforces it. Then we're ready for the epoxy coat. But in this instance, we're going to put about two ounces of tinted art coat down. And then we're going to broadcast either this brown. Come show them this, Nate. We're going to either broadcast this brown quartz. It's almost like real life stone spray. It's really pretty. So this can also make a cool shower pan, which is going to be a video coming up. Or we have the white and black, but there's probably mm, 10 colors of this. 10 little combo colors you can choose from, but it's going to be really, really durable. This is going to be in a dog shower. So it's like a dog wash. You could go take your giant dogs and wash them so you don't <laughs> wreck your entire house bathroom. That's a smart business plan. Uh, so let us know after we make these, which one you want to see on the shower wall. Mitch, I want to know if you guys have done a shower over tile using a what sealer? I have not uh, used that sealer. I don't know what that is, but I haven't done a foam over tile. What you need to keep in mind is if you add a bunch of thickness, if you add an inch to a tile shower that hasn't, that's already installed, you're not demoing that tile. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you can buy an extender for whatever shower handle you have. It's a, a Delta, if it's a Moen, you can usually go online and get an extender that'll bump that handle out. If you add too much thickness to that, you're not gonna be able to open the handle and then you're gonna be in trouble. You, that shower won't work. Uh, you can get this foam, depending on where you live, down to a half of an inch in thickness. That's what Kenny has in Texas. Yeah. I think in Southern California, you can get half inch. In Oregon, I can only get one inch. So if I can only get one inch, I'm going to have to demo the tile if I cannot get an extender. Uh, you need a stick? You got one. I got one right here. All right. Anybody watching been to one of RK3's hands-on training? I attend most of the classes. I help teach a few of the uh, countertop finishes and answer questions. It is the best time I have working for Stone Coat Epoxy. Uh, I get to meet real life folks who are turning this into a viable business. You're not only learning hands-on training finishes, you're learning contracts, you're learning how to acquire jobs, all sorts of stuff to start your epoxy business right on the right step and uh, avoid yeah. costly mistakes, right Kenny? Yeah, because we're gonna, we've already done all the mistakes so you don't have to. Ooh, my mic is going in and out. That's terrible. I haven't heard anything. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you can hear our mics okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's mix the gray one first. So you okay. want to probably pour a little epoxy yep, in. Yeah, for sure. And then, uh, maybe we move this over to here because I only have... Yeah, we can scoot this over this so way. So much. Um, How's that? Pour. That's perfect. Okay. And you want to mix I'll and just, I'll pour... Okay. Well, here, I'll just do this and... Nate, come show them this. What we're doing here, that's probably good for now. Okay. Hold that for me. Is we're adding the quartz to the clear epoxy. And we just want to wet we'll, it down and kind of right, make it Right, we want to make it like a mush. Maybe like pancake batter. Yep. It's kind I'm of thinking what we're we thinking. need some more. Yeah. But all this quartz is going to settle because it's heavier. What do you know? Maybe that's good, bro. That's looking pretty good. Okay, we'll put a little more. Well, that's kind of cool looking. Okay. Be sure to hold the bucket with this because yeah, it will. It is thick, voluptuous, thick. Kenny is here in Oregon because he flew out to help me with our largest floor. 
Guys, I shared the photos of the floor Kenny and I made, as well as Chris and Nathan and, and Ken. It was 2,300 square feet of brown marble, and it's the best floor I've ever done. We've ever done, right? Yeah, it was it was very spectacular. 120 gallons and, of epoxy. Yeah, and what's cool is when we sent the photo to my boss, he said, is that your AI inspiration? And it was actually the floor we made. <laughs> So I think that's a W. Yeah. If people think the floor I made was made by AI, that's winning. Bro, All I think right, a little more. Fun. What you think? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to cover that. So let's just do this whole thing. I'm cool with that. All right. But see how we're doing this in stages? I wouldn't put the whole thing in there. And we're also using a plug-in drill because this is heavy. It's almost right. like mixing cement, at the, even stickier than cement. This is going to be neat. Mm -hmm. get, and this uh, uh, aggregate in there should make it quite strong. We need sure. help over here, Chris. We getting technical difficulties? No. Okay. Ooh, watch it. If we were using a battery drill for this, it would be uh, tough. You'd burn out the battery quick. And you probably want to go slow, just like this. Mm -hmm. That way you don't spray it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. We're going to apply it over the... Whoop. Be careful with that trigger, Mitch. Jeez, I I'm got it. I'm thinking that's And I think you good. want it a little runny. That way it, it kind of it gets it in spread. all the nooks and crannies. Yep. That's looking mm -hmm. good. Which one are we going in, the far one? Yeah. I should probably put that into an empty bucket and whip yeah, it. That would be a the good idea. The garbage bucket down there. I could do right here. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we're good. Yep. Yeah. Cleaned it. Cleaned it. Okay. Now this is going to kind of be like uh, going back to kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, that's cool already. Is there enough? I bet there is. I hope so. We could always mix more. No, I think we got we got plenty in the stick? bucket. Yeah, that's mixed well. If you could do quick coat. Yeah, like I mean, this, I don't see like why amazing not. amazing quick coat, or would it be too thick? We should test that. The floor we did, we had some new techniques, guys. This is gonna be a really good video. Um, we have some amazing shots, because there was a second story balcony, and we had cameras set up all in there, getting great time lapse and video of the whole project. This is really good. You're gonna have to show them on the next live how yeah. this turned out. Yeah, we will. That's a great idea. I should make a few of these. So how many ounces of resin did we use? That 40? was 64 ounces. 60. And that it looks, looks like pretty it pretty cool. Covered pretty much everything. Yeah. I wonder if we even need to torch this. I don't think so. I guess I see a little bit of air, but this is the backside. Too. Yeah, so it's not going to really matter. No. Just give it a shimmy shake. Yeah. Cool. Let's do the next one. All right. Oh, you know what that we didn't easy. do? What? We didn't put the glitter in it, but on oh, the next yeah, one, yeah. we will put it. Yeah, we're going to add some uh, black glitter to that to see if we add some bling bling to it. But if you're just joining us and you see this amazing, beautiful flag behind me, that's because we had a huge announcement. We are currently selling epoxy up in Canada. Full distribution, flooring, countertops, shower walls, whatever we offer here down in the United States for as far as Stone Coat products. They are available in Canada at New Classic Resin. Chris, drop that link. Uh, click on over there. That's going to take you to all the products they sell. I want to sell them out. So if you have a Canadian family member or friend 
or yeah, anybody that just wants to order from Canada. Yeah, and pay uh, duties bring them back <laughs> in. <laughs> if you order from Canada and pay duties to bring it back into America, you let us know. I'm gonna send you a free hat. Boom. These are not Ooh. cheap hats. Yeah, no. And I only have like five left, so you you gotta oh, yeah. show me proof. Yeah, we need to see the receipt. I've I've given away stuff before and be like, all right, Steve, you're the winner. Shoot me an email, Mitch at Stone Code. And then there's like 10 Steve's saying I won. My bro, yeah. you messed up. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> and then I'll answer some questions where we're gonna mix this. How thick is the mold? So it's a half inch, half right? Inch we thick. measured that. Yes, we did so we did that. a volume calculator with that, which is very helpful with woodworking, casting resins. And in this instance, how much to fill up this volume, it's length times width, and then you got to times by the height, the thickness. They're both about a half inch thick, but uh, with all the aggregate in there, you can exceed that eighth inch, you know, look at there are air bubbles. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna torch this. Whoa. All the air is rising up from us mixing. That can kind of give us an idea of what it's gonna look like. These almost could be pavers. Yeah. Or tiles themselves. Yeah. But that's it. So torch little at a time because you're gonna release those air bubbles and then more are gonna rise to the surface. And you may need to extend the torching. They're not that heavy. No, they're really not. Mm -mm. How much of that sand did we use? Where's that bucket? It's not even half no, of that. we didn't even use half of that. And this, uh, the quartz, you can pick up online, just search ground quartz. It's fairly inexpensive. I think it was 45 bucks for a 50 pound bag and then I had to pay a little bit in shipping, but it was not that bad. I really, this is also could be used outside uh, exterior over moisture seal to make a, like a thousand grit patio like if you have nasty concrete that's pretty level but just stained and in bad shape you can rough it up like we just did on the giant floor you okay. ready you ready Let's for the go next ahead one and put the die oh yeah so this Good one call. we're gonna make it like uh two percent milk as Rhonda would say we're just chocolate gonna put milk. a two percent chocolate milk I'll yeah that's what that's three gonna drops. be yeah three drops mm. Ooh, just look at that would you look at that we're gonna see what dye does to it as well. And subscribe right now to the channel if you wanna see how these things turn out, because I'll release another video. See, look how pretty that is. That's just so... That's caramel right there. Caramel. And then we're gonna put a little bling in it. Yep. Also, just to see what effects it gives it. Where's the bling at? The bling? Oh, there it is. Kitty got a hold of it. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> Nate totally missed Nate, that kid, bro. That went over his head. Just whoop. Sorry, guys. We had Sorry. A whole, we pre-planned that whole routine and Nate missed yeah. the cue. He didn't. He wasn't looking. So, well, we won't give him a hard time. Nate's a great camera guy. Ooh, more. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. This is some of our bronze. Galaxy glitter. Oh, Ooh, look at that, guys. La, la, we should have done this Ooh. in the floor. Chris, go, if you go to my YouTube, uh, excuse me, if you go to my personal Facebook, bro, you could pull that up and show them the floor. I just did a big post on that. The floor is epic. Look at I'll that. I'll answer some questions while you're doing that. Why did they mix? What did they mix into the resin? This is ground up quartz. It's all the same size. It's really cool stuff. This is what floor contractors and like concrete guys are putting beside pool decks. They're also going like in office spaces, uh, sh workshops. You put down epoxy, flooring epoxy, and then broadcast this out. We're gonna show you what it'll look like on the shower wall after this. Uh, oh, we great need question, Greg. Thanks a bunch for getting the Canadian distributor. The last order cost me 80 bucks in shipping. Is that the one you did in the US? I'm sorry, that's because he had to do the whole import. Yeah. Uh, whatever the heck they call that. Here you go. Duties. Duties. Taxes. Oh boy, this is going to be epic. Now, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. And it's not real dark. 
No, but it so sure it, just gives you oh, that bling. Should. That should just really react. They're going to be dying to see what these look like. Oh, I am. So. <laughs> I'll have to send you pictures because we can't yeah. pull them out till later. These okay. will be dry and ready to pull out. On a thing like this, because the epoxy is curing, uh, you know, that first 24 hours, I'm going to let these sit in here a couple days before I yeah, pull them out. Yeah, that'll probably be a good idea. Mm-hmm. Whoa, easy big daddy. See, I'm curious to see if that glitter is going to show up. If it pops or not. Okay, let me put a little more resin in there. Maybe it'll look like another speck. I don't know. Yeah, might. Maybe we do more resin in this one. You know, uh, well, the resin comes to the surface, so. All right, go ahead and mix that up. Because a the, the, the quartz will settle. Yeah. And because the, the, golly, wish we had that big one that had an automatic <laughs> throttle, you know what I mean? Yeah. So right. this floor was so huge this last week, guys. Right. It's going to be an epic video. Let me put some um, more. We were mixing 15-gallon kits in 30-gallon Rubbermaid garbage cans. Rubbermaid didn't pay me to say that, but they're excellent garbage can epoxy mixing mixers. Buffers. Yeah. They uh, did us right. And Nathan, Ken Guerra, Chris's dad, and Chris's Tony. brother, Tony, were our mixing machines. We were missing Keith McGinnis from KCDC Designs, the, yeah, the mix he machine. Out. He's the mixing machine. Golly, almost threw that all over you. You'd have been mad at me. Not really. Gosh, it's like nothing or all. I really don't like this drill. A little more? How yeah. much resin we got? We got plenty. Okay, yeah, go. Should we just full send it? You can see the glitter in there, bro. Let me just get all that. And then we can just add more and more. Mm -hmm. Remember my shower niche video? Yeah. You can make a shower niche with this, dude. Yeah, for sure. What did we, we use sand. We use sand, play sand. This would be cooler because it adds an actual color. You need something, Chris, on the audio? No, that's the phone. Here you go. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you think about that floor, and if you would like Kitty and I, the dream team, to come on out and give you an awesome marble floor. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's good. A little more. A little more. Yeah. Uh, more sander. Yeah. Because that wasn't the same amount. Okay, got it. So did you know you can also take, um, if you have an out of level concrete slab out, outside, you can mix up the pebbles like Mike did on his shower pan and go right over that and it'll still drain and everything through it, but really? on like crazy. I'm gonna show that on my- With that floor. river mm -hmm. rock? Yeah, with those Yeah, but those hurt pebbles. your feet so bad. Yeah, what he didn't do is get them level good. All right, let's see what that does. I'm gonna go back in the trash with it. Yeah. There you go. All right, you ready? All right. Ooh, Ooh have I? Uh, Spuds asked, have you ever used powdered crushed glass as an aggregate? I have not, but that sounds pretty cool. My dad uh, was in the glass industry, so I've stepped on a lot of broken glass and got it in my feet. I had a piece of glass on my big toe for like mm, four years. It was terrible. Okay. Next one. Um, Jace asked, does the glitter make a textured surface? It looks really coarse. So it is sand, but we're in a mold. So below it is going to be as smooth as that mold. But yes, that is the idea of this. It will be a more rough look. It's gonna look kind of like stone. But if you're gonna do this in your shower, uh, like we're gonna show you here, there's two options to finish it out. If you're doing it as a shower pan, you don't want slick epoxy as a shower pan. 
it's not a good recipe for safety. So you could either A, apply polyaspartic with a bunch of non-skid additive. That's going to make it less slippy. Or what, what I'm going to do here for a shower pan is we're going to put down about two ounces of square, uh, per square foot of moisture seal epoxy over a pre-sloped shower pan. It, you could do that over your regular old bladder that a tile guy sets for you, you know, a plumber does. What do they call those? The bladder and mortar, the mortar bed. Or yeah. you have the foam ones that are all pre-sloped. That's more DIY friendly. Uh, if you have that, you could put two ounces of epoxy and then we're gonna broadcast this quartz on there till it stays completely dry. We'll let that cure and then we'll vacuum and sweep up all the loose quartz. We'll, vac we'll sweep it up because we can save it. And then what's left is like a thousand grit or higher, it's not gonna hurt your feet, but you will not slip. If it's a shower wall and you want it to be glossy, we then can coat it with art coat or a polyaspartic, cover that shower panel, then go and glue it in, and it'll be nice and glossy, but still look pretty cool like this. Look at all the air that comes up. Yeah. It does take a minute for the air to come out of that because it's gotta make its way through Ooh, all that, that cord. Yeah. So be patient, torching. But also know, this is the back. So there's not gonna be any air bubbles below. Air is working its way up. So the face of these should be glossy a little, but colored like this quartz. These look cool. I think I like the brown more. Yeah. Guys, let us know real quick. You have about uh, 90 seconds to vote. What color you wanna see on our board down here below? What, what color do you wanna see the dog shower? But this could also make a pretty cool. The glitter's in there, Kenny. Can you see it? Yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. That's cool, bro. Yeah, that was a good idea, Mitch. I'm glad uh, you thought no, of that. Kenny's had all great ideas this whole trip. <laughs> when I work with Kenny, it's not work. It's fun. It's more fun than work. And that's the way it should be. All right, let's move these. Should we? To the table. Fortune again. It's kind of setting up already. Oh, it's just so thick. Look at that. We probably could have gone a little thinner, but these are going to be stout. Let's get rid of these and do the panel. Okay. And then we'll go torch them throughout the next segment. Okay. There, there's going to be air keep coming up. You got that one? Yeah. We got a table set up. Ooh, these are cool. I say what, seven pounds? Yeah. Might be a little heavy. Yeah, but look how big. Yeah, the, you wouldn't the surface need, they're, that you're... they're 20 inches by 20 inches, right? Yeah. That's I think a... it, it would be about the same as a tile. Chris, has anyone answered what the Canadians call their uh, flag? Someone said they call it the Canadian flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Well, he ain't winning anything, or she. Oh, we got to mix more resin. I'm mixing this batch. Are you? Yep. All right. You got to tell me who your favorite Canadian is. Mm. I know who mine is. Who is? It's a toss-up because he's the guy who talks me to sleep every night watching. Talk, yeah. Talks watching you to sleep, really? The Unexplained. William Shatner. Yeah. He's my favorite Canadian. I think well, so. Mm, him and Jim Carrey, they're both up there. What about old Chong? Tommy Chong? Tommy Chong. <laughs> huh? What do y'all think? Oh, God, he might have just took the lead. <laughs> that, could, that could be it. I didn't know uh, he was a Canadian. Yeah, now let, you know. <laughs> let, let me know who's your favorite Canadian. Yeah. Everybody's Googling right now. Yeah, who's a, who's yeah. a Canadian? That's awesome. And while you're Googling hey, who your favorite Canadian is, you know who Canadian else could is, be our, our, like our favorite Canadian? Who? Oh, new classic resin boys. That's it. Awesome. Those well, might be my son. new favorite. Agreed. Forget all that. Yeah. But The Unexplained is a fantastic show. Have you seen that? No, I have not. Dude. I guess I'm going to have to watch it now. It's got all sorts of alien stuff. Really? Yes. Like Area 51 kind of stuff? Yeah. Yes. Who watched The Unexplained, guys? From With William Shatner. It's amazing. Netflix has a couple seasons, but Hulu's where it's at. It's got all the seasons. Hulu. Hulu's where it's at? Hulu is where it's at. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> okay. I need a water. 
All right, let's mix. We're going to lose how them. Much, how much are we mixing, Mitch? Oh, we figured this out. We're only doing a couple ounces. I think it was like 24. We talked about that. You need a smaller bucket? Yes, we do. We might not have any. Oh, we do right here. All right, Chris, you got to tell me who some of these Canadians are. Are there, are there favorite Canadians in the audience? Michael J. Fox. Oh, he's a good Michael one. Michael J. Fox. Mitch, I will. Oh, my God, Ashley. <laughs> she called me out. Yes, you will. I have your email saved in my favorites, so very soon. Oh, uh, what will they weigh? That's a good. Evelyn asked what those 20 by 20 tile pieces will weigh. I would say no more than um, 10 pounds. Yeah, I would say six to seven, right? Yeah. Not that bad. Where can I get those molds? I got those on Amazon a long on, time ago. Online. If you um, backsplash mold, search that. Uh, is there any interest in Stone Coat providing backsplash molds? I, mm, I don't maybe know. Maybe that might be a thing. It might be. I don't know. You know, we'd have to economically see, but the epoxy spread further using the aggregate in there. Yeah. I wonder what it would cost if we use, like Mike has made his own backsplash using rapid set cement. He was able to pump out a bunch. He, I mean, we were Us. making those like crazy. We would make two or three batches a day in between editing videos because he had so much backsplash to do. You need the B or the A? Or how about none? Did you already got it? Yeah. Ah, Lee. That's how it is working with Kenny. Every time I turn my back, he's doing work that I did that was anticipating doing myself. Yeah. It's awesome. All you got to do is just talk. Sit, the maple. And I'll just sit here and look pretty. Ooh, they call it the maple leaf flag. Hmm. I oh, wonder why. Oh, maple leaf. Oh, Canada, how beautiful are your hands. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it goes? I don't think so. I really I, don't. Do we got the jingle? The uh, Oh, Canada? Uh, it, we'll probably get in trouble. You're, oh, it does it. not have lyrics. Thank God. Could you use mica flakes instead of glitter? Absolutely. Yeah, Ooh. okay. So one thing that I we think. did learn using mica flakes, when you put the epoxy on them, it kind of dulls it out because we did that in our floor. These are the mica flakes they're talking about. Remember? Yeah. We put that in the floor and it kind of dulled them out. So it, it didn't really make them They sparkle. looked good until we put the glossy poly on and That's then they it. just muted and then them it down. Just kinda, yep. But these are the uh, mica flakes, guys. These are, we had these old school at Stone Coat, but now you can pick them up where? At <laughs> RK3Designs. RK3Designs.com. Check them out, RK3Designs.com. Quarter inch mica flakes. These are amazing. You could just put them under clear epoxy. They make pretty cool countertops all by themselves or a very, very cool base to then layer up uh, some browns yeah, on top of that. It's not like a glitter though, no. those micas. That's one thing you got to think. Uh, yep, it's Take different. into consideration because we did not. Correct. They're pretty cool, but there's all sorts of colors you could choose from. Oh, oh, Canada, our home and native land. I need music. Yeah. I don't even know. Chris what? got the <laughs> true patriot love and all of us command. With glowing hearts, we see thee rise. A true north, strong and free. Free. <laughs> I'm glad it was him and not me. Oh, guys, Canada is what the topic is, as well yeah. as quartz countertops. Oh, I mean, shower walls. Pardon my, and backsplashes. My, my Canadian, Pardon my French, French Canadian. <laughs> they speak French up there. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, pardon your French. Yes. Oui, oui. Yeah. Uh, I got, I said, oh, let me announce this. I got another cool announcement, folks. Yeah? While Kenny's mixing that epoxy. So guys, when you are mixing epoxy, you always want to make sure that you get your edges. Scrape those edges of your bucket and stir vigorously and make sure that you get it all mixed up. That way you don't have any sticky spots. The amazing Ooh. resin remover. Brand new product. Coming to you. Coming soon to Stone Coat Countertops. Right now our sister company, Illumilite has it, but they're like a crafting resin brand and us countertop folks, Need something a little bit bigger than a dainty yeah. four ounce jug. I mean, when I get, Kenny's always on me. He's like, bro, you are messy when messy. it comes to epoxy. Yes. I am. I, I've been messy my whole life. I like yeah, to have Marvin. a trail behind me. Messy Marvin. Stuff everywhere. My mom's griped at me. My wife gripes at me. My oldest son even gripes at me. It's not even right. Yeah. Maybe I should 
Yeah. Tune it step up. Step it up. I need to step up my game. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see this amazing resin remover at Stone Coat in bigger jugs like a 16 ouncer? Yes. Like the Gojo? Yeah, for sure. And that I would way, definitely buy it. I would too, because it smells good. Ooh, what does it smell like? Mm -hmm. Get some resin on yourself. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Now, here, we don't want to do that. We don't want to. Mmm, ooh la la. Mmm, smells like latex. <laughs> <laughs> Now smell it. <laughs> you can't get it in the epoxy. It breaks down the epoxy. I'm not getting it in the epoxy. So Ooh, what it does. It's, it does. It's kind of like It's nice. So fresh. it's cool stuff, guys. It doesn't have a scrubbing agent. The downside of cleaning with isopropyl alcohol, it cleans the epoxy off your skin, but it's also opening the pores of your skin at the same time. It makes time, you dry. And it dries out your skin. They get cracked and nasty. This should we, stuff. Should we change our gloves out? Well, no, nah, because I'm never getting gloves on after they're sweaty oh, okay. this long. Uh, we need to tint that a little bit. Okay. What hey, we... what color do they want to see on here, Chris? Is oh, yeah. Is there a vote? Oh, uh, yes. We it says the... brown. Brown Let's it is. Let's just use the brown. Because that glitter, we're going to have the glitter, too. Yes. It might be all covered up, though. Yeah, for sure. That was more like two One and a half. One more? Yeah, Because it's sure. a smaller amount. It doesn't matter. In you go. Mm. So, got, when we were mixing five-gallon jugs of this. We're using Five-gallon of Florida epoxy. We use half an ounce fully tinted yes. five gallons of epoxy well it, that's some amazing epoxy dye yeah five half a bottle for amazing. five gallons it's and crazy. it turned out so pretty back to the hand cleaner let me know in the comments below do you want that it breaks down the resin off your skin you go wash it up down the drain it breaks the epoxy on a molecular level down to nothing breaks it down dude yeah then you just Does wash it, it right brain? down no it breaks it down you just wash it down. Wash huh? it right down the creek, and it's off it goes. And off it goes. <laughs> and off it goes. Wow, I didn't know we could just wash it. Yeah. Glitter it, it is, up. It is, it is uh, Oktoberfest, so, you know, you could say wash, but instead of wash, you know, one yeah, of the other. Yeah, I always. You always say Since whoosh? I moved to Oregon, I heard people say creek. I say creek. Yeah? Mm hmm You got to say creek and. Creek. Creek. It's an Oregon hillbilly thing. Must so it's be. homesteaders. Homesteading, that's kind of cool. They got a huge plot of land. All they had to do is put a cabin on it. When's that going to happen again? Never. Never. Can you can you still do that in Alaska? Oh, maybe. You might still be able to. What about Canada? Oh, that's a good question. Can you Bet you not. No? Maybe. Did Guys, homesteading ever happen? Ooh, Ooh yes. What do you think about I that? I like that a lot. So... What are we going to do now? So, so we're just going to put it on yeah, here. We're putting spread it two out. ounces per square foot. The yep. reason we're not going three, same when we're doing the floor. This is almost like a floor going vertical. You don't want to plow three ounces down or a bunch of epoxy because we're going to make it dry with our quartz. And the, the more epoxy, the more quartz you're going to because the quartz settles and you're going to see epoxy. We're going to broadcast till this thing stays dry. Let it cure. Clean it off. Install a Ruski. Project complete. My only question, like we were talking earlier, is if we're going to be able to cut it with a table saw or something. If yeah, we're, we're going to cut it. I'm thinking we might have to use one of those diamond blades and cut it. The diamond blade will burn through the foam, no problem. Yeah, but if you have one of those metal ones, mm -hmm. it won't. It'll dull. just cut. Because this is actual quartz. Right, so it would definitely dull your blade, especially if you got a high dollar blade. Yeah, not happening. Might not want to do that. No, I'm going to get all the loose junk off. Okay. And again, if you're just joining us, this is pink foam from the Home Depot. We did three ounces per square foot of quick coat. We tinted it black. We put on fiber mesh. We let that dry. We did three more ounces of quick coat, completely smooth. Now we're applying two ounces of art coat tinted with a little bit of brown, some bronze glitter, and then we're broadcasting quartz. So basically then we're just going to dust it we're on. We're going to make it rain. We're going to feed chickens with quartz nice. and try not to make a giant we mess. To get a, well, we have but we're going to make bucket. a mess. You know, big Mitch. Yep, it's going to be messy. I'm going to wreck it. I'm like wreck it Ralph. I should be wreck it Ralph for Halloween. You know who I'm actually going to be? Who? Uh, because of Johnny? Yeah. Hopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Johnny, uh, one of our epoxy buddies out in Florida who does amazing floors, uh, Convinces people that I look like Hopper from Stranger Things. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? No. Does he really look like Hopper? <laughs> no. Maybe, maybe he could be a double. Absolutely not. <laughs> but like, he convinced a gal, and she's like taking pictures with me. It was pretty. It was, it was pretty comical. It was horrendous. 
All right, ah. so are you ready? What? What if it's in scrubbing paper wipes? Great, uh, great idea. What? He's talking about putting this in like wipies. Ooh, Ooh la la. wiping those wipies. Yeah, like a, a paper towel comes out. And yeah. Goes, that's a great idea, dude. And they would Mr. CEO, we can tell why you're Mr. CEO, bro. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. And we're going to uh, borrow it from you. We <laughs> might. <laughs> if we make a million, sorry, bro. We'll we'll send you a, oh, a that cut. Faux glass subway tile in the gray mode. That's what Ooh. those are. That's what those are. Those are going to be cool, I bet. Yeah. I think it's going to be if nice. If it looks really cool, I'll, I'll make a bunch to finish off that. That would be when nice. When I tear out the laminate and put it in normal. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this out. Yeah, because it's my arms getting tired of yeah, mixing. Yeah, you mixed the heck out of it. You got to be thorough. Yeah, when you're mixing by hand, guys, uh, extend the mixing time. Holy Toledo. Look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> wow. You got to have a little bling. Oh. You never have too much bling, I say. No. I got us little trowels, and then I grabbed the big one. Yeah, you did. Golly. I mean, you can't have nothing nice. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'll clean it for you. Kenny and uh, old... Tony were the clean crew on this floor job. That floor job, guys, we put 120 gallons of floor epoxy down in 1.5 hours. It 1, really was amazing. 1.5. That's and an then, hour and a half for y'all. Then we did. <laughs> then we did exotic poor bathrooms that were like 30 square feet. That was fun. And we did that in 2.5 no in in 0.75 hours or a half hour what do you think that was pretty it was short. pretty much a half hour so 30.7 minutes this is actually a perfect amount this is how much you guys want when you're doing a floor. floor yeah this is actually perfect and these are the tools we actually use so we'll just get it and we'll spread it just like this it's awesome Working hey, out good. Why don't you just stay over there? Because it was a mound. And you bring this mound to me. <laughs> Let's rub our edges with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't forget your edges, Golly, guys. Golly, this looks cool. This could, this be, a could be a finish all, all on, its, on own. its own. But you know what? We're going to take it to the next step. Out of the park. We're leveling this bad boy up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to come around the front and get this front edge. Mitch and Kenny unleashed. It's not good. It it's is good, good, it's for good you. that we might pay for it later. Yeah. I could lose my job. I could lose my job. Mate. No, you're on paid vay. I'm not going to lose my job. No. Okay. Ronnie could fire Let's me. Go. She could. I mean, that's that's a possibility. Yeah. I wouldn't blame her. Would you I'd hire you. Would you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not even worried about it. Instantly. We made a pretty hey. sweet floor, bro. Hey. I was so proud of that. Here you go. Don't, don't. Bucket it. One, one thing, guys, when you're using these magic trials, you need to clean them. Instantly. Yes. Because and once that epoxy sticks, you ain't getting it off. Yeah. And Just these are re it, reusable if you wipe them down. Like Kenny said. Yeah. Smart man. Don't, don't do that. Don't be that guy. And then we put them in buckets like yeah. that while they dry. You don't also, here's another pro tip. Don't store it where it's like this. Where it flats. Where yeah. something's pushing up on that, because it's always going to stay like that. For sure. And you'll have like a little mountain as you go to use it again. So be yeah, careful with these. Be... They're spendy, but they're very reusable. If you take care of them. If you take care of them and treat them nice and tell them they're special and all that I don't that know stuff. about that, but... Yeah. Everybody likes to hear that. I'm going to get rid of this air bubbles real quick. And then we're putting quartz down. This would make a cool floor, kind of. Maybe. For sure. If you're a child. All right, brown quartz it is. I'll get the big box here. You're just going to get the full oh, sand? Dear. No, we're not pouring it. You want to? No, I know. We're going to yep, make it rain. Cool. Just try not to make a big mess in yeah, here. And you, try, you don't want to put globs either. It's like you're feeding the chickens. Correct. Here, chicken, chicken, That's chicken, another chicken, one chicken. of my favorite things about coming to Texas is doing the ranch work with you. Yeah. Doing the feeding. Feeding the horses. Feeding the horses. So how much do you think you have to put on here just where it's covered? Till it's dry. It's going to be fully coated like a flake floor. 
Okay. And I messed up and didn't clean my hand first. Yeah, so you got it all over your hands? No, I was getting clumpy. Mmm. Because I wetted down some, you know what I mean? After spreading it with my hand. So we're going to... So do you think the excess will come off if it doesn't? Oh, yeah. Kind of like the flake floor? Correct. When we're all done, oop, that's a big mound you don't want to do. Well, that's just But I'm ruined. just going to leave it. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. It's kind of just like you're salting your food, huh? You know what might be cool? What's that? Fertilizer spreader. Yeah. If you're doing on this a on a big, big floor. floor. Yeah, we talked about that. But you can see how it's settling. You know, it was dry there a second yeah. ago. Or wet. Mm-hmm. It gets wet no. again. That means you just need to throw more material on. I don't know if we're going to see any of that glitter. I bet we will when we go to vacuum it. Tomorrow. Yeah, when it comes off. Mm hmm. Hey, Kenny, Rhonda says she's fired you several times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still around. <laughs> he knows the key code. <laughs> I guess I just can't get fired. We're going to be out for a pro class next week. Is it next week? It is. <laughs> It's during my wife's birthday, too. Oh, wow. You better bring it. I haven't it. quite broke the news that i got to go to Texas next week. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe i bring her. Yeah, maybe you bring her for her birthday. We'll see if that email gets responded to. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. If, that's the big If the county that's the big agrees. If. This is like stone spray. Very much like it. I think it would look better with, with the stone spray. No, with the epoxy <laughs> on top of it, like wet. Yeah, but I don't know yet. Yeah, this is the first. So this is R and D, guys. I you're, mean, you're in the lab behind the scenes with Kitty this, and Mitch. This is what we do when y'all aren't around. This is what we do. Now's your opportunity to ask us questions. Everything's on the table. Definitely is on the table. <laughs> I'll look at the question thing while we're making it rain. Okay. Is there a way to make epoxy in a vertical wall directly? Yes, there is, but it's you have to thicken it. We have an epoxy thickener, but the it's going to act very differently. It no longer you looks. Yeah, you can't do the. It 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 becomes lines. opaque. The metallics are kind of muted down, and you're applying it with trowels a lot like Venetian plaster, guys. So it's way different, but it can be done. But you cannot do um, a marble pour vertically at all that's where we do it just like this we could make if we didn't want to um if we were testing out this ground up quartz application we could have poured a marble pour here and then use this as wall art we could have used it as a waterproof wall panel you could have made a marble dog panel but we're trying to make these things like bulletproof yeah i think this is going to make it way stronger and this is going to save the customer a bunch of money versus having to demo and do all sorts of other stuff where we could put this over the already waterproofed shower, we could install this probably in a half hour. You know, three walls? Yeah, once you have this templated, mm -hmm. shoot. You go out and template it with the foam itself. Yes. And then Kenny you bring it back. you how to do this at their hands-on training. Anybody in the audience, an epoxy pro or an epoxy vet, let me know how many projects you've done with Stone Coat or if there's anybody too nervous to start, but they need some questions answered. That's why we're here. We can help you out. We could help we you, can get you started. get headed down the road to saving thousands on thousands. your kitchen and bathroom remodeling using Stone Coat Epoxy. And if you want to get out of the office, I know a guy who wants to get out of the office uh, and work for yourself, which is true American and Canadian freedom. Can they, can they work for themselves up there? I bet they can. Sure, sure. They're pretty much like us, but they have yeah. cool sayings. And and that A. Okay. What about the <laughs> What about <laughs> the gravy stuff? What's it called? I have no idea what you're Gravy, saying. cheese curds, onions on fries and stuff. What about it? It's about the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> I don't even know what uh, you're talking about. It starts with a P. Yeah. I ate it when I was in Pittsburgh because it's close to Canada. Hey, but right? Isn't it? You're asking the we're wrong just right guy. Boot. We're right I'm, about there. I'm, I'm at That's the other end. That's just across the night. Yeah, you are. 
I'm on the You're other close end to of our the beautiful spectrum. southern neighbors. Yes, that is that is where I'm from, south. <laughs> that was fun, but I don't. Uh, you don't even guys. Know what it's what is it? It's gravy. It's cheese it's curds. Gravy. Poutine. Poutine. Ay, Poutine. I'm not even gonna say that. Is I'm it? Like, is it like a? It's good, bro. I know, but what is it though? I'm telling you, it's French fries. French fries. And then they put like uh, biscuits and gravy gravy on it. Then they you, put you, uh, caramelized onions. They put cheese curds. What else am I missing? It was so good. I've only had it a couple times. Because it was, I, they don't have that where I'm at. I'm too far away from Canada. I'm really not though. I just got Washington in my way. Yeah, I don't even know why you would have Poutine. It's really poutine. good. It's good. Seek it out. Seek it out. The northern states probably have it. This is cool. Yeah. We're pretty much there now, guys. So I this is what I would do on a flake floor. See, now we're uniform and dry. Yeah, perfect. But I'd walk away. I'd check this. You'd thing. walk away, Rhonda, on I'd, this? Ten minutes later, I'd come back, though, because if, if we have any puddles of resin, it's going to... Uh, sink and it'll look wet again mm. and then that's going to be glossy where everything else will be dry that's what you don't want that can happen in the flakes For sure floor. the flakes will settle and the epoxy gets on top of it where the flake is matte and, the, and you have a puddle of glossiness all right let's go tim r i'm an epoxy vet at this point let me know how many projects you've done bro go up to the top there chris we're gonna rapid fire these bad boys all right what is she talking about what is the silicone? Ceviche? Ceviche How is... long does it take the epoxy to dry? Oh, maybe that was the, the person's name. Sorry. Uh -huh. It takes the epoxy about 18 to 24 hours uh, and something like that. We should go torch those again, too. Yeah. That's a great question. All right. What about flour sifter? Ooh, that Ooh, would be... That would thicken the resin. So what we have is a... No, that's to put that. What's flour sifter? It's just white, right? It's, it's oh, a... yeah. I know what you're saying now. Yeah. Sorry. That would work if this little, gr I think these are small and thick through there too, isn't, wouldn't you say? Flower sifter would work. That's kind of cool. That's a good idea. You could just make it rain right on top, but I think this is good. So tomorrow we'll vacuum, clean all this off and it'll be perfectly level, rough surface. It's going to be cool. Um, could you use a strainer? Maybe if you got a strainer and like shook it up like you're, Sifting like you're a gold panner. Heck yeah, you could. Need Mitch and Kenny to come to Canada and do my shower walls. Ooh, what part of Canada? I've always wanted to uh, get it. A gigantic whitetail. Let's make a deal. I'm down. Kenny, you want to go to Canada? I'll go anywhere. You got a passport. I do. I do not. I am not well traveled. Mm. I have to get one. I mean, you need a passport to go to Canada, right? I got one for Mexico, so that's all that matters. But yes, you do. We're like cousins. We don't need a passport to go to Canada or Mexico. Oh, you do? I know. You don't need one to Soon, come here. Hopefully, I get to go to Mexico. When are you going to Mexico? I don't know. I want to Maybe go. we'll plan it and just do it. Let's. We're trying to get Mexican uh, distributor out down there, bro. Yeah. Let's yeah. go look for some. Do you know anybody? Mm, I know a few. Dude, make it happen. Okay. All right, let us know some questions right now, guys. We're pretty much wrapped up. I'm going to reiterate, we are selling products in Canada right now. Check them out. Chris will drop a link that takes you right to their website. They've got all sorts of stuff, epoxy, and currently selling stone coat epoxy. It's People are pumped. Every video we drop, there's three or four comments. Mitch, when's it going to be available in Canada? Right now, guys. Check it out. Boom. All right, do you have product in Amazon? We sure do, and it's going to be in Amazon Canada Shortly, that's been a pain point actually because you have to do whole new labels and stuff. Did you know that? No, whole new lids and everything. Hmm, I wouldn't even mess with it. They're safer up there, I guess. Hmm, need Mitch come to Canada. Tim, shoot me an email if you're real serious. Uh, so are we. Mitch at stonecocountertops.com. Helen's asking oh. faux glass subway tile. I guess that's kind of what that mold That's kind of what it looked like, I think. But it's going to be kind of looking like this, but textured and glossy. It won't be dry. Right. Um, we lost monitor. Mm, it's back. back. Could you use mica flakes instead of glitter? Absolutely. Yes. It'll look a little bit different. We don't have any glitter in here. We, 
But when we go to clean that off, we're going to see a little of that sparkles. I, I hope, I hope so. so. Me too. All right. That's, where can I get one of those molds? You can pick those up on Amazon. All right, guys. I think that's it, Kenny. Unless you got anything else. That no. was short and sweet. I guess. Okay, how heavy do you think this is? That's probably a good question for people. Oh, not no, bad. It's not even heavy. That's like putting an exotic pour on it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wouldn't you say it's, so? It's not. It's less than I thought it was. Me too, be. bro. I thought it was going to be way That heavier. was one of the things we were testing. I was concerned right. with that. You know, too the heavy. The flex. Would Especially if big... you go a bigger panel. Yeah. It bow. But I've been. What's cool, dude, is I've installed granite showers, and that you have to put seams in them because you're so limited right. on bringing it into the house. We, we're able to kind of... You could bend those you around. Could, you could bend them around, flex them. Way yeah. easier to install. Super DIY friendly. And look how fast this was. Can you imagine just doing a full sheet? You could do that just as fast. Mm -hmm. I want to do a shower pan like this. I really do. Yeah. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Let's do it. I think it'll... You got to redo your shower, right? Yeah. Let's do it. We can. More projects in Texas. That's what I like to hear. I'll just have to bring my wife. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's it. Those are... Ooh, Chris is highlighting one more question. We'll answer that, and then we're going to leave. Can you use epoxy for siding? Interior, you could. Like, you could do... What do they call those walls at the... To uh, like around the bath, toilet, and stuff, and public restrooms. I don't know what they call those, but the surround. Yeah, like the FRP, I guess it's oh, called. Oh yeah, that material that goes around like where urinals and things. People have done them around that. Um, I wouldn't put it outside unless this could go outside completely. You could do this outside. The epoxy is going to be completely covered by quartz, so the whole yellow now, and ambering thing will not be a factor. I got a question though. What's your question? Are you going to cover this in epoxy after it's done? Not if it's like next to a pool deck outside because you want the grip when it's wet, right? Right. But but your shower wall, you could. And if it's interior, you'll be good to go. You can right. put art coat over that or even a poly. But at this point, I would put art coat. Uh, so then like, once that covers off, you mm -hmm. dust this off. And then if you want it glossy, three ounces per square foot of art coat. Yeah. Torch it out. Let that dry. Now you're installing it glossy. I and wonder, maybe even UTC it. Probably could go UTC right over it because UTC is compatible right over concrete. Right. So I'd imagine. Then you wouldn't even need that that, yeah. that coat of epoxy. You just go straight We're UTC. We're going to test that, bro. We'll clean this off and I'll cut it in half, see what cuts it. <laughs> yeah. And then UTC one and then clear coat one. I love yeah. epoxy. Yeah, and then you get back to us on that. I will. Let me know if you want me to share that video. Yes. I've had fun. This has been a great week. It's flown by, bro. Yeah. Kenny has to fly out super early. We're going to go put ultimate top coat on 2,300 square feet without the goat, which is terrible. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah. But we're going to have Ken help. It's going to be good. That video will be dropping soon. Check out uh, check out the Insiders page, Stone Coat Insiders. Uh, I'll post pictures of that floor, but that's where a lot of helpful epoxy artists are. They're ready to help you get your project started. Also, check out the RK3 uh, epoxy insiders same group more intimate even more helpful i'm gonna say it it's awesome question can i make a sheet of epoxy and bend it so it can go the inside corner wow i don't know how you could no i think you it would be a a, a point of failure when you get you it in only, there if you don't get it just right plus you're gonna have you the, couldn't do a sharp 90 at all no but we talked about doing the island well i know but how hard would that be to get it into the shower, bend it, and get it in there? I think, I mean, is it possible? Possibly. You could bend it a little bit, but like even this, like let's hold it up this way. You're not no, gonna. But you're not gonna be able to 90 that thing. No way. It's no. gonna snap. Right. It would have to, it's not gonna happen. No. I don't, I don't think see so. any way. I've seen guys use thinner. Uh, substrate that went on an outside radius a little bit would be right. easier than a real inside, if that makes sense. Yeah. But if you make it, share it with us, because I'd like to see it. Can I use the epoxy? Uh, the composer is asking, can I use epoxy without a final coat and it remains intact on scratch? Maybe he's asking if he can use it without the ultimate top coat. Right, without you, scratching? You can. The, the scratch resistance is much better with the ultimate top coat. Stone coat was designed to be durable, but sharp items drug across it are more prone to scratch. 
without the ultimate top coat than with it. So uh, for maximum durability, always use the ultimate top coat. We've got some cool uh, stuff coming. We're trying to develop, it's in the works, coming soon, a polyaspartic countertop coating. It's more durable and insanely UV resistant and it works just like our coat, so no need to rush. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Great fun live, a little bit different. We're doing some yeah. R&D. So be sure to check out the Facebook group. I'll post some pictures of how this looks tomorrow after I get rid of all this uh, yeah. sand. I don't think we need any more. Are you no, seeing anything I glossy? don't see any glossiness on it. I'm scanning, scanning. Yep. No glossy. With we're your good. good eye? With my good eye. Okay, my good. good eye. Then we're all good. Right. We're out of here, guys. From Stone Coat Countertops and RK3. We'll see you on the next video. You got this. You got this.